hi guys welcome back to my channel live with abby k i know it's been a long 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 time a lot has been going on with me and i've just been taking some time off to deal with myself first if you're new thank you for stopping by don't forget to leave a like share comment and subscribe to the channel so without any further ado let us get right into the video i am kind of exhausted and tired at the same time i have been asked so many questions on facebook i am now getting into doing a lot more than just facebook so there has been a lot of questions i just take out a few questions to answer so i could give you guys an update on what is going on around me with me but you already know i am a new parent i'm a new mom and i had a lot of issues going on with me especially when it comes to my mental health and to be honest, when you don't live around family, our family is not there. Sometimes you need a little bit of support, which I didn't have that kind of support because I was working and other stuff and a baby, all of that. So my mental health was very important for me, which it was kind of stressing me out emotionally, physically, psychologically. And even affecting my social well-being i had to take time out to cope learn to adjust to that especially when you have a newborn you're a new parent you have to adjust to certain things how to take care of this child i didn't know how to process it so most of the time I would go on the internet and make research or sometimes I would call a family back home and ask for their opinion, their advice on what should I do, especially like when the baby cry and all of that, it make me frustrated. It's like, why the baby crying? I just fed him, him just wake up and went back to bed. You know like little things because i didn't know a lot of people said it is easy said and done when you when you you're now adjusting to a new chapter in your life especially when you don't know how to handle stress i'm a very emotional person and i take on stress very easily any little thing could stress me out especially if it has to do with my family or someone close to me I would worry or stressed about little things so my mental health was not in a place where it's supposed to be i never had history with mental health issue before but then recently it started kicking in so i really 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 i need some time on how to process that phrase in my life which i am still dealing with we're human. I cannot justify and say, yes, it's going to be okay when it's not okay. I was told many times to seek therapy. But for me, in my own belief, I believe when you go to someone like a professional person to do a therapy session and all of this, I feel like they judge you or they make you feel like you're sick, which I don't want to believe because I know I am not sick. So my mental health was like way down to the ground it take me to the ground so i am still working and processing little things one step at a time so that was my big factor on my life update and what was going on around me i had a few questions so like i said before mental health was one how i deal with my mental health and how i cope with that which like i said I do research and I take time to process it. I talk to people and but not a professional person. 
I talk to people. I talk to God most of the time. I would listen to um, affirmations or motivational words or, or some, some, something that put me on a positive perspective rather than being on the negative side and I'm always going to constantly stress and I'm worrying about things. So I am still working on that. I had a next question was um, how do I how do you balance work kids or kid and marriage? That one is huge. <laughs> that one is huge. Um, what must I say? How do I balance work? Um Currently, I, I am not working. I am not working, so I am a stay-at-home mom right now with my child. I am not working. I have one child, and at the moment, my one child is like 10 babies in one. He is very active, very energetic. What I love about him him give me a lot of talking i talk a lot with him and that it make me feel it is time for me to be around him more than just leave him into a daycare or for someone to look at him which mothers out there parents out there you already know there are no better person than you to take care of your child so i wanted to have that little relationship bond with my baby to be honest with marriage guys you see when you're married it's a different thing it's like you have to to compromise when you're married and have kids or children you have to compromise most of the time it's not about me but at the same time you gotta know how to, to balance it out work was very hectic for me when I had to work take my son to the daycare pick him up back from the daycare get home prepare a meal dinner or my husband get in we work two different directions two different places and it was hard because the timings was different. For me, being a new mom, it kind of challenging because I really don't had the time to spend with my husband the way I wanted to spend with him. Which when before I could have said, okay, babe, let me go and out on a date. It was okay. But now when you have children in the picture, you have to always think about, oh, my child come first but that doesn't mean you have to neglect your partner or your marriage and worry about your child or your children all the time you do have to find time for your partner you have to be able to know how to communicate make adjustment agree and disagree and when you have that communication you plan on okay this is what we could do in our marriage we could add some date or we could change some things we could adjust to some things the other question was how old are your baby and do you plan to have more kids in the future my son is 16 months old do i plan to have more kids in the future yes i plan to have more kids in the future i always wanted to have five kids but one child alone i don't think i wanted to have five kids anymore why are you always happy can you share the secret why am i always happy i am a people person happiness came from within it's only you can make you happy no one else can make you happy if you're not happy accept things some things the way they are i learned to not judge people based on their appearance i just try my best to be positive and give positive advice positive opinion because at the end of the day it's not always about you when you think negative things it come out into work because like they said our thoughts 
eventually come into actions. We, we, we've taught about those things and my thoughts on that and my thoughts, most of the time, it happened without us not realizing it happening. I like to be happy. Oh, the other part of the question was, what is the secret? Be yourself. Make you happy. Love you first before you love anyone else. Love you first and allow other things to flow. How do you deal with postpartum as a new mom? Huh, guys, I'm gonna be frank, honest. Getting home from the hospital with my son, there was a lot going on around my environment. And like I said before, I easily get frustrated or I really cannot control things. My emotion, I'm a very emotional person and there were times when my baby had like gas and i didn't know how to deal with it and he kept crying and crying and crying take him to the doctor bring him back home and he would still cry and i don't know what to do and my baby cried i cried with him and i realized he would stop and laugh at me. Which I would still laugh at me because it was like if I hold him in my arms and he, and he saw me crying, he would stop and start laughing. And there are times when I didn't want to say the word depressed, but I was depressing. I was depressing a lot because I had a lot of issue in having it's document and stuff like that. And at the time, I was not in my homeland to go back home, but the paperwork and the documents for my son was not in process. And I was very depressed all the time. And I said, I don't want to, to, to take out my frustration on my son, but postpartum was a lot for me to handle because all new mom stuff waking up in the night i couldn't sleep and my baby was hungry around the clock and then breastfed him in and out gotta give him a bath gotta make sure that he is okay before i could take care of myself when you know you're gonna be a new parent or a new mom it could drive you nuts there are good days, good nights, there are bad days, and there are bad nights. When you don't have support, it's challenging. There are times when I wanted to sleep and my baby would not sleep. There are times when I wanted to go somewhere and nobody is there to help me with him. There are times when he cry and I don't know how to do with him. I told myself in that time, I would have a nervous breakdown. I would call my aunt or call somebody and talk to them and they would advise me Abby don't do this and don't do that just bear with him walk around talk to somebody watch a movie it still didn't help I'm gonna do the best that I can as a mom and I allow God to do the rest But I don't think I could go through that postpartum depression. It's not an easy thing to deal with. It's a topic I don't talk about or things I don't talk about. Um, I don't have friends or people that I could sit and discuss things with. So it was challenging for me. Being a new parent is not an easy job. It takes a lot of work dedication time and effort it's not gonna be about you all the time my other question is how your husband feel about you starting a YouTube channel and when can we see him guys to be honest what I must say 
Before I do things, I sit and discuss it with my husband. My husband is a very supportive person. He'd support me if it makes me happy. He is happy. When can we see him, to be honest? My husband is not a camera person or he doesn't like to be in front of cameras or phone and these kind of stuff. But I am open some good day, some good day, when he make up his mind that he wanted to be in one of my video or my vlog or on my channel. I'm going to introduce you guys to him. So that wrapped up the end of this video. Hope you guys learn something from it hope you have a wonderful day don't forget to like leave a comment subscribe to the channel turn on the post notifications so you would be the first every time i drop a new video so see you guys in the next video bye